Okay, this is to answer a question I get from a number of viewers. Uh, there's this website here, I've never used it before, called Justin TV. It's for streaming video, uh, much like a number of other sites. And I've gotten lots of requests from different people saying, Oh, how do you get this to work in Linux? I can't get it to work with my webcam. Um, and my original thought is, I don't have time for this. There's plenty of websites out there. They should probably just go to other sites. But I've been asked enough, I decided to make a little account go here and have a look at it. So I came here and I click go live and it loads up this little flash window here and it says oops can't start until you click the allow button but you don't see an allow button uh, and then an annoying little video starts down here. Stop. Okay. And um, so obviously you know this is flash it's gonna be glitchy it's gonna have problems that's just what flash is. Um, and I'm thinking, okay, really the, the only thing I can do here is maybe uh, use something to decompile a flash and see what link it's trying to link to or something. I wasn't going to put much effort into it, but I thought I'd look into it a little bit. So what did I do? Well, I hit uh, Control-Shift-K in Firefox, which brings up our little console here, and I refresh the page. I hit F5, and while it's refreshing, I go up to my filter here and I type in SWF, which is going to be the flash file here. And um, this video starts again down here. Very annoying. I don't like this site already. Okay. Um, and we have a few flash files here, but if I look here, this first one says uh, Live Basic. I think that might be the one that I was looking at before. If not, we'll just go through them. I'm going to double click that, highlight the URL here, open up a new tab paste the URL in there and hit enter. There we go. <laughs> and flash crashes, of course. Um, I'll just refresh that. And you can see, ta-da, there's our allow button. It was just sized wrong for some reason in Linux. The flash for Linux resizes it wrong and the allow button is off. But if you put it in full screen like this and you click allow, my webcam turns on and there I am. So let's go through that again. Very simple. I'm showing you this just to show you, uh, put a little thought into things. Um, you know, I, I, it's, it's just play around with the pages. If you're having an issue, figure out what the problem is. Sometimes you can't fix it if you're working with proprietary software such as Flash. I mean, that's one of the many drawbacks of proprietary software. But once again, I'm going to clear out. You bring up this console in Firefox. I think Firefox 4 and, and past, or maybe it's 5 and past. We're at version 7 I think so far right now. I'm not even sure what version I'm using about Firefox. I'm running, yeah, version 7. So the console should be there. You hit Control Shift K to bring it, open it, and close it. Go to your Justin TV page like you're going to go live. Press F5 to refresh the page. And then you notice you get a lot of stuff because it's listing everything that's loading on the page. We're just going to type in SWF which is should show us all the flash files that have loaded on the page. Uh, and look for the one that says Live Basic Publisher. The safety on -star is now available. And pause the annoying video down here again. On -star. We're looking for City Hall. Oh, it's a commercial. I'm sending directions to the That's just annoying. Okay. We're going to double click this. Get uh, the URL for the one that says Live Basic Publisher. And then it will have like a random number after it. New tab. Paste it in there and hit enter, it will load that up and then you can click your allow button. And you know what? I've never used it before but this seems even better because now you're working full screen rather than that little box which you might have been able to make full screen, I don't know because I never got that far. But there, that, that hopefully is the issue that people are having. Hopefully the issue that people are having and hopefully that helps you for all you people who are insisting on using this site. Which is fine, everyone you know can make their own decisions on um, what sites they want to use and not the this safety one star is now available for your call. Really? Oh, so annoying. We're looking for City Hall. Um so uh, not that this site's any worse than other because most of them are going to use Flash, which is kind of annoying. You always set up your own server, which I understand is also annoying. That's why the few times I've done live shows, I just used Ustream, which is probably the same thing, but you didn't have this issue. But as you see, it was a simple fix. Simple fix, we just needed to dig a little bit. Once again, the issue is proprietary software such as Flash, which is just glitchy. Uh, I mean, it's... Uh, 
somewhat of an essential because it's so widely used on the internet, but that doesn't make it any better. So I hope this once again helps all those out there who are who have been hounding me about this website. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's so great about this website. Maybe it's got some features other ones don't. Um, and you know, no problem. Use it there. I hope that you can use it now. So um, remember, Control Shift K to bring that up. I hit Control Shift L by accident, which brings up Firebug, which you can do the same thing with if you prefer, prefer Firebug. It does have some more features, but for what we're doing right there, the built-in console for Firefox works great. So once again, that's Justin TV in Linux. And it's just that the, the little approval box is actually somewhere over here where you can't click it. It's pointing right there, but it's not right there. It's just a glitch in Flash, which may or may not ever get fixed. Uh, closed source, nothing we can do about that as a community. We're reliant, dependent on Adobe, just you're with all proprietary software. You're dependent on someone else. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Hope you found this helpful, and I hope that you have a great day.